here and welcome to today's video we are going to be talking all things butterfly locks now I didn't show y'all how to put these in there's a million zillion videos on how to put in your butterfly locks but I know a lot of y'all have questions like is it heavy can you wash them how do you maintain them can you sleep in them like there's so many questions after the installation that y'all want answers to and I'm here to answer those questions for you right now but first before we get into the video if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell I post new videos twice a week usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays my upload schedule is a little crazy right now because of Thanksgiving and other personal life but we'll get back on track very soon but if you subscribe you don't hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and hop into this video so of course I'll go ahead and link the video of the tutorial where I show you how I install my butterfly locks right here for you all but I've officially had these in for a week and like four days my goal is to keep them in for two weeks just because I do get um, tired of styles very quickly I'm just ready to kind of play with some of my products that I'm gonna get for Black Friday as well so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and take these out after two weeks but having them in for this long I definitely have realized some things I definitely can answer a lot of your questions so a lot of you ask are these heavy and no they're not heavy at all in my opinion for me of course it does add weight to your hair because you're adding hair to your hair but because it's at this like good little length, like not too short but not super long, they're not heavy. The true test for me is if I can work out with them. If I can work out with them without being like, oh my gosh, my head is so heavy, like it's so weighed down, then they're not heavy. And I don't feel like that at all. I've had no problems working out with them. So they're not heavy now. Of course, if you make them longer, if you make them, you know, down to your boob, down your back, to your waist, to your butt, they're gonna be heavy and they're probably gonna be uncomfortable but at this length or shorter I would say they're perfectly comfortable and not heavy speaking on that you all ask are they comfortable to sleep in and your girl hasn't been missing no sleep I've been missing sleep for <laughs> other reasons but not because of my hair I also think that mine are actually pretty flexible and I don't know if it was because I was very like loose in my method of wrapping the hair around my hair and that's why they're more nice and flexible and not stiff and I think the more flexible they are the more comfortable they will be and they'll be able to move around and as far as what I do at nighttime I have this huge bonnet many of y'all are no stranger to this bonnet this is my favorite bonnet ever it has this nice drawstring at the top so I can stitch it in but it is huge and I can put a lot of hair in this and I just stick my butterfly locks in this tied around my head and I'm good to go and that's it what I'm doing to maintain my hair I am spritzing my roots with this coconut water hydrating elixir from Camille Rose and then for my scalp I'm also adding a little bit of oil and my oil of choice right now is the niche beauty polish hair and scalp oil and basically what I've been doing is you know just going in spraying it, rubbing it in, making sure I get to my roots. It's kind of hard to go and make sure your hair is moisturized underneath because I think even if I were to take some product and you know kind of squeeze it into the dreads or to the faux locks, I feel like the fake hair would absorb it before it even got to my hair. So I don't even bother with that. Plus, when I actually braided up my hair, I use a leave-in, I use a moisturizer, and I use a butter on top. So I'm pretty sure that my hair is well moisturized underneath. But really, that's all I do is just add these two products to my roots. And I do that maybe like every two or three days or so. Um, and that's just what's been working for me. Can you wash them? I kind of advise you not to wash them. I have not washed them and I am not going to wash them because I am taking them out at two weeks. And I feel like two weeks for me, going without washing my hair is okay. That's kind of like the most that I will push it typically. But I don't think that you can just because this hair gets really kind of like frizzy and tangly and like you can even see, I don't know, but like 
they get tangled on each other and I feel like just adding water to the mix would tangle it even more. I don't think that they would unravel. They might unravel, but I think it would just tangle it up. So I personally would advise you not to wash them. Like I said, I haven't tried it and I don't want to try it. <laughs> if you are keeping it in for maybe two weeks or three weeks, I think it's okay for you to not wash your hair as long as you are making sure that you are caring for your scalp and caring for the roots of your hair that are exposed. I think that you will be okay and you won't necessarily need to wash them. How long do they last? I think that you could wear these for three weeks. You probably could even push it to four weeks, but I will say that the longer that you wear them, the more that they tangle. Like they get stuck on like my earrings right here all the time. Sometimes they'll get stuck on like my fingers and my fingernails. Also, I did have to redo two twists. They were getting loose and they were just like hanging really low compared to the rest of my twists. And I think it was more so because I just didn't wrap them in the correct direction. But I'll insert a clip of what it looked like all stretched out. I just had two of them, one on one side and one on the other side. It was really easy for me to just go in, remove them, and then redo them. It didn't take me very long at all. I had them in for about a week when they started to kind of stretch out and unravel. But like I said, I think that it was my fault. I think in those particular instances, I just wrapped the hair the wrong way. How many packs of hair did I use? So I used the Free Tress Braiding Hair and Water Wave in 22 inches. I got six packs. That actually worked perfectly for me. I messed up maybe like one or two locks when I was doing my hair. And so I, I just wasted like two of them and threw them away. And then I actually had two locks worth of hair left over, which was perfect because I used those two remaining pieces to fix the two locks that I had that were all jacked up. But luckily I didn't mess up too many packs of hair. So I would say maybe get seven packs of hair just to be on the safe side because there is a learning curve as far as what direction to wrap it in and all of that. So you do want to give yourself room for the learning curve. So I would say get seven packs. Okay, so do my braids or my twaids, cause I actually did twaids. Do my twaids pop out underneath? And I would say for the most part, no. There are instances, I don't know if y'all be able to see, and my edges are kind of crazy. I can't find one right now exactly, but there are instances where you can see a little bit of my braid, and I don't think it's necessarily my braid popping out. I think that I just didn't wrap my hair completely around my braid and completely covered it with the braiding hair. Therefore, you can see part of my braid, but I think that was, you know, always there. I don't think it's because my braid starts to pop out. If you wrap your hair really, really, really well and you make it tight, then your, your braid won't pop out at all. But because I wanted to have a more like, free and flowy look. I did not wrap my hair very tight when I did these faux locks. Does the hair itch? It does not itch, but let me tell you why it does not itch. I soaked this hair in some diluted apple cider vinegar. So I got a bowl, I took the hair out of the pack. I kept it in the bundle though, so it comes um, with a rubber band on top of each bundle. So I didn't take the rubber band off. I left it on there because I didn't want the hair to get too tangled up. So I just took it out of the pack, put it in a bowl, put, I would say, two parts water, one part apple cider vinegar, let that set for a couple of hours. Then I rinsed out the hair thoroughly because I didn't want it to smell like apple cider vinegar. Rinsed the hair out thoroughly with water and then I let it dry overnight. Sometimes with this synthetic hair, especially with the chemicals that they use to dye it, for example, this is one hair and so I'm sure that they dyed it jet black. Or if you get any of like the colored hair, then there's definitely chemicals added to it. So the apple cider vinegar just gets rid of the chemicals I've learned my lesson. I used to think that I wasn't really affected by synthetic hair, but then when I got my tribal braids last year, like I was breaking out 
on my forehead. I was breaking out in my nape and I don't have those breakouts at all. My hair doesn't feel itchy. Like sometimes my scalp feels itchy, but I think that's just because my scalp is not used to going um, two weeks without being washed because I typically wash every week. But other than just like, I would call it normal itching of the scalp just because this hair is not itchy. Like, but I think it is due to the apple cider vinegar. In. So that is it for this little butterfly locks Q&A. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that I answered your question. I know a lot of times we see these beautiful styles, but then you're like, does it last? Is it heavy? How do you protect it? How do you maintain it throughout the weeks that you wear it? You know, we got all those questions because we want to make sure that it's worth our time and our money. Because if you paying somebody for it, typically you you paying a good a good little penny, <laughs> and you're spending your time. And if you're doing it yourself, you still paid a good penny for the hair and it's a lot of time so you just want to make sure that this hairstyle is worth it and i will let you know that it's definitely worth it this is actually one of my favorite hairstyles like protective hairstyles that i've done with like extensions so as far as like my box braids that i've done before travel braids my twists my crochet locks like i definitely love these butterfly locks the best but if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do have any other questions that i didn't answer or that i didn't think of then let me know down below in the comment section and i will be happy to answer those questions as always y'all i'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and i will see y'all in the next video bye